Hello family, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria. In case you do not know me, your baby girl, today we're going to be comparing Dubai and the UK. I know I've talked so much about Dubai, but I have never, ever, ever come here to tell you some nice comparison. This is my own personal opinion. Let's talk about Dubai, talk about the UK, and talk about the differences I found after living in these countries, these two countries for a few years. I'm not in the UK background-wise. I'm a nurse. I trained in Nigeria. I worked in Nigeria for some years, moved to Dubai. From Dubai, I moved to the UK. Let's talk about healthcare, which is one of the most important aspects of life. And it is one thing that the UK usually supersede other countries with. Healthcare in the UK, let me tell you, is fabulous. Apart from the waiting list, the the time that you have to wait to see your GP, to see your doctor, it is incredibly long. Except you have chronic ailments or you have life-threatening conditions, then they attend to you quickly. You know, in the UK, healthcare at the point of service is free. Even though you may be paying indirectly through your salary, through tax, through immigration health surcharges, whatever means. But at the point of service, healthcare is free. Meaning, if you go to have your baby in the hospital, you do not pay a dime at the point of service. If you live in the UK, you're going to be able to assess health for free. In Dubai, healthcare, I would say, is partially free because if you work, actually, let me talk about people on a work visa. That was what I was on when I was in Dubai. If you are on a work visa in Dubai, you're going to get healthcare almost free. Because your employer has the responsibility to insure you insurance. So when you go to the hospital and this service covers so many things, it may not cover some part like maybe dental. There are some things that is not covered, but most of the things will be covered. Like I had a baby in Dubai and I only paid 200 dirhams because the salary is paid or the money currency in Dubai is in dirhams, AED. I paid only 200 dirhams, which would have cost me maybe about over 10,000 dirhams. But because I had insurance, it's compulsory. Your employer has to insure you once you work in Dubai. So let's just leave it on that level of insurance, work level. Are you looking for a reliable, fast way to transfer money from countries like the UK, Canada, United States to African countries like Uganda, Cameroon, Nigeria, Ghana, and so many other African countries with zero charges, no hidden charges, meaning whatever you send is what you're going to get as value. Whatever you send, the other person is not going to be charged. You are not going to be charged with the best exchange rates. You need to download Lemfi. Lemfi was actually known as Lemonade Finance in the past. All you have to do is to use my code, download Lemfi. I'm going to leave the code, I'm going to leave the link in the description box and on the screen, use Gloria article or capital letter, download Lemfi, use my referral code during registration. If you forget to actually even use my referral code, at the top one of your app, it's going to ask you, did you have a referral? Yes, please put Gloria article or capital letters, download Lemfi and start sending money. You know the best part of it is, the moment you transfer your first 100 pounds, you get 10% cash back. 10% cash back, it is the best, the best, best out of the best. Thank you, Levi, for sponsoring this video. Income. <laughs> Money is very important. In Dubai, salary is earned in dirhams. In the UK, it is earned in pounds. And you know, you yourself, you know. Pounds is one of the very high currency. It is not the highest, but it is one of the high currency in the world. So if you're earning in pounds, you know that the money is going to be the... Mm -mm -mm. It may sound small, but by the time you convert it, it's in millions somewhere else. For instance, if you earn £2,000 in the UK, back home in Nigeria, it may amount to 2 million, 2.5 million, depending on where you're converting the currency. In Dubai, depending on where you work, if you're a professional, and this is actually unfortunate, if you're a professional, you get more money, you get better job, especially if you're an expatriate. I've seen so many comments, although this, that video is very old, I still get comments like, oh, I'm in this country, I'm from, somebody said he, she was, I think, Australia, and they want to move to Dubai, and how would that affect them? And I said, look, the advantage you have is that you're going to have a passport that is going to be of benefit to you, meaning you're going there as an expatriate. You're going to earn more than me when I went there as a Nigerian. If you're going there, in fact, recently there's been a lot of stop to visas for Nigerians, especially. I don't want to talk about that, but I'm saying if you go there as an expatriate, you're from the UK, Australia, Canada, one of all these westernized world, you're going to earn more money 
And the good thing is that there's no tax. So whatever you earn is what you earn. Like if you're earning 3,000 dirhams, you're going home with 3,000 dirhams. Nobody's going to remove one naira, one dirhams from it. You're going to go home with the exact amount you earn. Nobody's going to deduct for it, which is good. That's why most people from the UK these days want to move to Dubai because they don't have to pay tax, okay? But when you convert the currency, say you're earning 10,000 dirhams in, the U in Dubai and you convert it to pounds, it will just amount to about maybe... Depend on the country that you're from, it's going to be small. So you're going to earn good money. But then the cost of living is also very expensive. Talking about cost of living, let's talk about rent. Rent, I think, is more expensive in Dubai compared to the UK. Though the currency in the UK is small, let's say you're earning 2,000, your rent may be about 800. I'm not talking about London. Please ignore London. Forget about London. I'm not talking about London. I'm talking about small towns. I mean, small city. Don't talk about London. Your rent for a one room in Dubai may be the same rent you're going to pay for a three bedroom, two bedroom, one bedroom house in the UK. Okay, that is it. You're earning more money in Dubai, the, the sound of it. But in the UK, you're going to have more for that amount of money. Although the infrastructure, of course, Dubai has the tallest building in the world, Burj Khalifa. So you cannot compare the infrastructure in Dubai compared to the UK. You can be living on the 50th floor, on the 60th floor, on the 40th floor, and with good infrastructure. I mean, good space. The spaces are huge. The kitchens are big. The rows are huge. So the infrastructures, the buildings, you cannot even compare. I remember my son, when we first moved here, my first son was like, Mommy, why is the place so small? He saw the houses and he couldn't believe his eyes. So the infrastructure, mm, Dubai guesses, you know, is a, a fast developing country and they are very advanced technology wise. Give it to Dubai. Let's talk about food because food is also one of the aspects of life where you spend more. I think personally, I think food is cheaper in Dubai compared to the UK. Personally, there are shops everywhere. The shops are open 24 hours. I don't know why food are cheaper. You get fruits, your shopping bags. If you go to Dera, <laughs> hey, cheap stuff. Like you can get things for 10 dirhams. You go to the, in fact, my building, all the buildings I lived in Dubai, apart from the one I lived in Ariga, has a supermarket on that. There will be one next door. So there's shop everywhere. Unlike now that you have to drive four minutes, five minutes, depending on where you live, before you get to the supermarket. In fact, loads, loads of shops. Food affordable. You get cooked meal, Indian shop, Asian shawarma. You get all the food, healthy food. It's not like the UK where fast food is very, very common. I live in Scotland and fish and chips, ice cream, just processed food. In Dubai, you will get the original taste, the, the real food that you really want. You know what I mean? The nurse is such a process, your documentation, get a three-month visitor visa, move to Dubai, write your exam. Once you pass, you get a letter that allows you to look for a job, look for a job, get employed, get work visa that was how my process was it is not the same right now but i don't know it was way easy to process dubai visa at the time now it is more difficult especially from the country that i am from the uk as well is not as difficult but when i moved to the uk as well it was also way easy compared i think within three to six months uh, my process were all ready if not the fact that at the time, I wasn't ready to move. It wasn't also difficult. But the thing is, the route to settlement, is it route or route? Route to settlement or route to settlement is a lot more difficult in Dubai. You will have stayed in Dubai for years before they will give you their citizenship. They don't just give people citizenship. Unlike the UK, although it may be a long process compared to other countries, you may have to live five years, 10 years, different route, depends. But you will still go into one day, if you qualify, get citizenship. But in Dubai, it is just like wasting your years if your intention is getting citizenship. It's not just for the money. I think the UK beats Dubai in that aspect. Let's talk about discrimination, the R word I don't want to mention here. I think in the UK, it is very subtle. People are very polite. They will say, hello, please, please, can I do this? But doesn't mean they will not backbite. Doesn't mean they will not stab you at the back. In Dubai, on the other way, because how many percent of the population are immigrants? You can hardly even see the locals. The locals have no business with you. They have no, their, their level is here, you, you are here. So you don't have anything to do with it. They hardly see you before they even discriminate against you. You have to treat them like small girls when they come for your service in your hospital, your clinics. But in the UK, it is very subtle. People are more polite. People are more friendly. They will talk to you. In Scotland, anyway, I don't know about England. I've not lived there. But in Dubai, you don't even see them. So the people that will actually be against you will be 
other immigrants. These are the people that will actually, if you're going to have any bad experience, are most, mainly the people that will actually do it to you. You hardly see locals. And when you see locals, I've not had any bad problem. I've not had any problem with them because I just stay my lane. <laughs> when they come, tell them, hello, sir, can I help you, sir? Polite, and I collapse my way. I don't have problem with them. I mean, in the UK, I can't actually say I've faced any big problem in either countries. No. Personally speaking, I hope I've actually answered your question or I hope I've actually given you a little bit of benefit for this video. I thank you so much for watching to this point. Please remember to share, like, subscribe, click on the notification bell. Let me know what other topic you want me to talk about in regards to these two countries. Not seeing anything, drop the comment in the comment section and I will see you in my next video. Until then, thank you. Stay safe. Keep watching and see you later. Mwah!